Hello folks and welcome. So Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon. Today's video is going to be about LibreOffice 7.6, 7.6, the latest version. You are probably on, if you are on Linux Mint 21.2, you're probably on the 7.3. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about the differences. I'm no expert, but I'll talk about some of that. And also, if you are brand new to, uh, to the LibreOffice, I will show you some tips and tricks. For your current subscribers, you may see some new tricks about, uh, well, resizing windows, any kind of window, not file manager, uh, web browser, software manager, or even any application for that matter. I'll also talk about a little bit about dictionary options, dictionary options, and also toward the latter part and the end of the video, um, some options to install that for other operating systems. So in general, folks, I will uh, say I encourage that you subscribe. I have over 200 videos to show you on all kinds of tips and tricks. I am filming in 1920 by 1080 today. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly with a gear symbol. A lot of times pe people don't realize their YouTube players are running in 460. That's a lot less screen resolution than I'm currently filming in. So again, one more time, filming in 1920 by 1080. All right. I'm going to use Alt and F4 as my first um, command to close that window. If you are on a laptop, it may be all uh, function Alt F4. So keyboard time, I'm going to use the US lay layout and uh, basically my tower computer is what I'm using today with a fairly standard keyboard and I'm using a USB based computer mouse. It's a, if you're curious, it's a Logitech M585, fairly standard. So the stuff that I'm going to be talking about today is for standard keyboard and like a standard mouse, whether it's USB based or hardwired with a scroll wheel on it. If you are using a touchpad, you may want to try some of these features like holding down the control key using two fingers to scroll up and down to resize text and icons as an example. Okay. Control key, whether you have one or two, I have two on this display. Uh, some folks will only have one. Also the Alt key, I'll be using some of that. So as soon as I push that, you'll see it light up. Control key is right here, I'm blinking it right now. So I have another one on the other side and another Alt key, all right? So I'm gonna use Alt and F4 to close this. And uh, then I am going to quickly just make mention that I'm using a 6.2 series kernel on my Linux Mint. Yes, you can get that if you watch my other video, how to upgrade your kernel, if you want to, if you want to. Mint menu time, office. I have both old and new installed. Yeah, again, if you have never seen my videos, I have lots of different ways of doing things. So I'm gonna drag this icon down to the panel and drag the new icon to the panel. I can do the same over here, but I'm not gonna do that. And, uh, oh, one more thing, I'm sorry. I wanted to put the dictionary in there, another toy and I'll drag that down there. And uh, actually, let me put them together. So I'm gonna click and drag and rearrange the furniture a little bit. LibreOffice Writer, old version, new version. You got the stripe on that one. Okay, let's talk about this. I'm pulling the window straight down. Couple of uh, tips before I get going. So double click, double click. If you are a subscriber, you've probably seen me do this. I just have to be below that line that that mouse pointer is pointing at on this window to do this with. You can certainly do it the old fashioned way. However, new trick, hold the window and push it straight up and then double click. And then hold and drag down to resize that. Up, double click, double click. Pull it up, pull it down. All right, so far so good, okay. I'll just leave it in the, in the size. I could also, right click panel settings and turn on the uh, show always panel, but I'm gonna leave intelligently hide on for a reason, because when I go full screen, I'll just do a double click. You'll notice no panel bar. And that way I can get a full screen out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna type the word test. My text is enlarged or is it? I'm gonna hold, hold down my control key and scroll up. Did I enlarge the actual font? No, just the visual, just what I'm looking at. The font is still the same, even if I highlight that, I'll do the whole word. It's still the same. Now, if I wanted to change the font size, I could do it this way. All right, 
This is LibreOffice 7.3.7.2, probably the same version you're currently on. So what kind of file formats can I save this as? Well, ODT is the standard one, and then I'm gonna scroll up with my mouse. You'll see that uh, if you're wanting the uh, Microsoft equivalent, that it's got Word 2007 Office 365 DocX, and then some of the older formats. What if you wanted the Word uh, 2010? Well, then you don't want this version, you want the other one. So, a couple of tips for you. File, Control Q is closed. X in the corner or Alt F4. I will pull that down and use Alt and F4 and it's gonna complain just like any other box that I need to save this. So I'm gonna do do not save. And open up the new version. And again, this works the same way. I will um, type in the word test and resize on the fly by holding the control key and scrolling up. Okay, so far so good. This is LibreOffice 7.6.1.2, the latest version. File, save as. ODT standard, however, I do have additional options. Now you can see Word 2010 365. All right, I'm gonna stay with this version for the remainder of the video. You're just typing away and um, you misspelled something. You get the squiggly, you right click, and uh, well, there's only one option too, but sometimes you get multiple options. So let's talk about control key options for you. I'm gonna take and highlight that with my mouse and then using control X to cut it. And I'm gonna click at the end of this letter and hit the enter key twice and then hit control V for paste. I am going to hit control Z for undo and control Z again and again and again to undo all that stuff. I'm going to hit control A and hit control C as in Charlie and click in here and hit the enter key a couple of times and hit control V. These are all just keyboard shortcuts, very common and a lot of people know what they are, but this is for the folks that do not. Another one is control P as in Paul for print. I have the luxury of a wireless printer on my network. Mine is a color laser printer, brother. Very nice one. And more importantly, it is driverless. I can also print from my iPhone to it if I want to and my Microsoft computer or even my Macs. I have lots of different toys. More importantly, if you have the luxury of a wireless computer that is on your network, it'll more likely auto discover that without you installing that in Mint. And more importantly, I can hit print. I just installed this just a little bit earlier. I also can print to a file if I want to. All right, so we have lots of things. We can also highlight stuff. You want that thing yellow. You want this a different color. I'll make that green. Keep on typing and it's still green. I know it's, I'm not spelling anything. I'm just doing this on purpose. I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna click that and do no fill. Yeah, I know that's badly spelled, but more importantly, I'm gonna talk about another feature. So I will turn off my auto hide, if you don't mind. I'll go back to the standard view. So I have a panel and uh, I am going to pull this down from here to make it smaller so you can see a separation. I'm going to talk about this new toy that I installed called Golden Dictionary. I've shown this before, actually. The reason I like this dictionary is because it doesn't have commercials. It doesn't throw a lot of stuff in my face like online dictionaries do. And a lot of people will say, well, you know, in my web browser, I have uh, these things that block uh, ads and stuff. Yeah, a lot of that stuff works and sometimes it doesn't. All right, let's talk about this one. So you have edit and preferences. Just keep that in mind. You also have the resizers. You got the plus. Uh, zoom in and out in a normal size. This is what the thing looks like in normal or you can do it my way. Hold down the control key and scroll up to jumbo or scroll down to dinky. The official words for small and, and large. Just seeing if you're paying attention. A little humor once in a while folks. Now I am going to type in something. I'm going to type in Viking. Why not? Just a good word as any to look up. And I am going to hold down the control key and scroll back just to let you see there's more stuff in here all kinds of stuff. 
and scroll back up to the top and then resizing, holding down the control key while scrolling up. All right, this is where I was born. This is the country of Iceland. But let's say I wanted to copy this word seafaring. I'm going to highlight that for a second and then I'm going to close this. And you're probably saying, wait, you should have done something before you did that. Uh, not really. I'll keep typing. Now I'm ready to paste that word. Well, I'm going to go back to my dictionary and still highlight it. Right click and copy. Control C. And close. And Control V for paste. All right, so I'm gonna click a couple of lines down and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this back up and I want this image. Right click, copy image, close. Two ways to paste, Control V or right click. Holding down the Control key, scrolling backwards. Letting go of the Control key, scrolling forward and backwards. Regular scroll in other words. Watch the tools up at the top when I click in the text. They change. I'm going to scroll up to make this bigger for you. And back and forth. So back to this, new tools popped up. Resizing on the fly. Moving that around. Click. I uh, will um, maybe scroll down to here and uh, we will maybe put on another image. How's that? Right click, copy image, close, and we will hit the space bar to give it a little bit of room and hit V. Ah, it's too big, that's fine, resize it. Grab a hold of the corner in other words. Put it back upstairs. Scrolling up, scrolling back, scrolling this way. So, uh, want some text, why not? Let's toss some text in here. You get the idea. Then it's nice to have one of these things. Again, I'm just clicking this. So we can minimize that and go take a look at the dictionary and go in and out of this thing, scrolling in and out. You look up other words too. Got a bunch of tools on there. It's even got links. I don't get any commercials. Resizing on the fly. Again, when I close and come back to this, it still stays there until I do either that by, sorry, right click, quit, which will reopen this in a normal fashion. Okay, so this again is Golden Dictionary. So where do you get all this stuff and uh, how do you install it? All right, first of all, do we want to save this one more time with the resizing stuff? And I'll get into more of that in a second. I'm going to use Alt and F4 or Control Q. Control Q is good. However, it still complains with the same box. Do I want to save it or not? I'm going to do a do not. Software time. Let's go to Software Manager and talk about a couple things. You know, um, part of your LibreOffice stuff is already installed. But you probably are on the older version. Can I resize this box the same way I've been doing? Absolutely. Double click. Double click. Click and hold, pull it up to the top, double click to go full screen, pull it straight down. You got to be right underneath this line because again, I, if I'm right here, then I'm stretching it. Or you could do it the old fashioned way. All right, got, got that so far? Office, LibreOffice. I was asked a question the other day. Why would I want to use Flatpak software? Because sometimes it's enormous. Well, it could be because it has newer versions of stuff. System packages currently not installed, only individual pieces. So, but the flat pack is, it comes from flathub.org. A lot of Linux distros also use that website. They create a package, it's a lot bigger than some, but it can be ran on several diff different distributions. If you are concerned with disk space, then go take a look at that information down here. But more importantly, this is 7.6.1.2. Install that if you want that. So let me go back in here. I'm gonna pull straight down on this thing. Again, I have to be underneath that line right here to do this with, if you wanna do it this way. I can also resize it manually. But type in D-I-C-T, and I'm looking for dictionaries. So I have Golden installed. 
again, one of the reasons I picked it is you can, uh, you know, you can resize the text in here, but more importantly, it doesn't throw ads in my face every two seconds. And this is the system package, 61, and then there's also the flat hop version. It's a little bit bigger, a lot bigger, okay? So um, there's a couple more options to think about. Maybe um, um, if I can find it in here, um, let's find GNOME. Oh, there it is right in front of me. Uh, so you got GNOME dictionary and you got some other stuff to think about. Okay, so um, software in here, 60,000 plus. There's a lot of stuff in here. But again, if you want it 7.6, go into the office area and look for that flat pack software and install that. So let's talk about possibly some other options for other operating systems. Now that you're fond of it, maybe you want to, and I'm going to double click on this line also, you can do the same thing here. Okay, but more importantly, I can, I'm going to go to LibreOffice. So LibreOffice.org, nonprofit. And you have some uh, help thing here, and also download and a download. When you click the download, if you're on a Microsoft system, you're more likely will have this window populated with that. Because LibreOffice, again, is a nonprofit, but it takes a guess at your OS at the same time. 7.6.1 is what I've been talking about the whole time. But I'm going to click the arrow and let you see some options in here. We have the uh, Windows 64-bit, if you're doing Windows 11, some of the older stuff, and then also the Mac, the Silicon or Intel. But we also have two versions of the Linux, the Debian and the RPM. A lot of folks don't know what these things mean. So uh, DEB means Debian and RPM is Red Hat Package Management. Go backwards a little bit here. I do have this uh, as a link on my YouTube site in the About section, DistroWatch. But uh, Linux Mint is Debian Ubuntu based. LTS is long-term support out of Ireland, if you did not know that. But what is Debian or Ubuntu based on? Well, let me actually show you that. So Ubuntu is actually based off of Debian. All right, so with that said, uh, again, you can go onto uh, the LibreOffice website. You can also Google that or use your favorite search engine and install that for different operating system. I will say, um, hopefully you enjoyed some of these tips and I'll say thank you for watching.